Hey guys, JCXHD here, bringing you guys a new tutorial series on how to build the digital time clock in PS3 edition. I'm pretty sure this works for every other edition as of now that I know of. So uh, this design is based off of CMB Minecraft's tutorial series on the clock, and uh, his link will be in the description, guys. So uh, let's get started. What I'm going to be doing today is teaching you guys in this part of the tutorial how to build this little display here. And then we'll work our way back as the tutorial progresses. So yeah, guys, uh, see you right back in the new world. And uh, let me know if you guys like, love, or hate it. Leave comments, likes, and uh, please sub if you like it. Okay, guys, welcome back. And I would like to start off by saying before we get into this, if you're at least at intermediate level, you know somewhat about redstone circuits, then uh, I think you could do this. If you uh, follow step by step, and you know nothing about redstone, you may run into some issues, but uh, basic redstone knowledge, you should be okay with this. So what we're going to need to start out with are sticky pistons, black wool, orange wool, redstone repeater, redstone torch, and redstone dust. Alright, so to build the face of this, the display, you're going to start out by one, two, three sticky pistons, black wool on each side. I mean, you could use any color wool you'd like, but I'm just going to use this to distinguish between everything. And then you're going to build three up on each side like that. Put another piece of wool on top. In between here, three more facing out. Three more up. Three more up. Black wool, black wool, and then close it down. Alright, just like that. So that is the main set of the display. That's what makes it work. Alright, so now, to make this work actually, we're going to take and put block there, block there, with a torch, and dust. It'll extend all three of those both of them, and we'll do that on this side as well. Torch, dust, come up here, block, torch, block, alright, and up here, same thing, block, torch, and block. And to get these to work, Just like that. I like to come off two repeaters, dust, one more, and a torch. That'll make those work. And you just follow that pattern all the way down these three. Alright, so now we're going to have to invert these signals so that when our decoder comes out, when our decoder sends a pulse through, it'll actually make the piston extend. So to invert these signals, all we're going to need to do for now is basically come out one more with a repeater. Now that signal is inverted in its end. So when we wire this up later on, what will end up happening is that will invert it back out when, the, when a pulse goes through that repeater. Just like that. So basically you're going to invert all of these signals by on the side here. You'll put repeater, torch, repeater, torch, 
indicator. Torch. Ah, uh, that's correct too. Instead of doing this this way, we'll take build around like that, and your torch will go in there instead, because you don't want the cross. You don't want a repeater on this block because it'll power that bottom piston, and it will not work correctly. So let's just fix this real quick. Alright, uh, that's back working, on the sides here, up top, just go like that, repeater, torch, same thing on this side, repeater, torch, and then on the bottom, what we'll do here is dig down one, repeater, torch. Alright, and we have our metal left, which is exactly like the top. And now one more, out, and once again, repeater and torch. So now when a signal gets displayed through any of this, it will uh, change the current and it will turn it into a positive current to turn each section of piston on. So just follow what I do here and we'll get them all lined up correctly. Come over on this side and do the same thing. We're just setting this up so that uh, when we do do the rest of our line here, it'll work correctly. Should we got them all? Nope. That should be everything. All right. So now, see, this would technically be our eight. Then, if we took away this power source, it would give us a nine, so on and so forth. So that's how the uh, display works. So if you guys like this tutorial, please like, subscribe, and comment. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys how to do the memory bank to connect to this. Peace.